I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, you gave me something to drink. I was alone and away from home, and you invited me into your house. I was without clothes, and you gave me something to wear. I was sick, and you cared for me. I was in prison, and you visited me. Anything you did, even for the least of my people here, you also did for me. On Sunday, September 25th, the members of the Dorrington United Methodist Church will not be sitting in the pews here. Instead, they will be out in the community of Kingston doing just as the scripture calls us to do and helping others. Today I have with me Pastor Nick Keeney, and he is going to tell us a little bit about the program called The Church Has Left the Building. That's right. So what are you going to be doing on Sunday, September 25th? Well, on that Sunday, uh, rather than a worship service, we're inviting all the church members to go out and be in hands-on service in our community. Uh, we've lined up 15 different projects. They range um, in intensity from uh, some building at the Shoemaker Hub um, and some park cleanup projects in our community. Um, and then there are some uh, lower impact ones that'll happen here in our building, uh, some quilting and some toy building and things that uh, people can do while they're sitting down. Why do you feel it's important to do mission right here in your own community? Um, well, it's our neighbors that are in need. Um, we do lots of projects where we write checks and send funds um, to different communities uh, throughout the globe. Uh, but it's important to actually see your neighbors uh, eye to eye and be next to them while you're in mission with them. Okay, thank you for sharing. We're now going to talk to one of the parishioners. Church member Chris Cross is going to tell us about one of the projects happening here that she is very excited about. I am. My husband is a musician by um, training, and we have decided we kind of co-lead the team that's going to do a sing-along at the Veterans Administration Hospital. It's going to be really cool. He's going to do like a little bit of instrumental music, and then we're digging out oldie tunes, Beatles, um, country pretty scary. <laughs> so we have um, four to six people that are going to go on that project and we're going to meet in the dining room and apparently from the uh, recreational therapist that we visited she said they love to sing anything everything. So that'll be really exciting. So wonderful to be out in the community and let them know that they're not forgotten about and that you can just provide a little bit of fun for their day. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm sure that all of the projects are going to be meaningful to the people that they're reaching out to in their very own community so that hopefully their neighbors will be able to see them and recognize that they are Christians by their love. So if you'd like to learn more about this type of project, you may check out my blog at Susquehanna Express blogspot.com <laughs> <laughs>